People would often like ask me when I was like little, like, are you like Chinese? Are you Japanese? Are you Korean? And Vietnamese was never an option because I think a lot of people just weren't familiar with it. So when people ask where I'm from or what I am, I, it depends on who's asking. For the longest time, I felt different. Like I am not white enough. I've struggled both, like in both of those, not feeling Asian enough and not feeling American enough. Being adopted too, it's like, I, I, I say like identity crisis within an identity crisis. I just didn't wanna, didn't wanna embrace it until I got older and then I learned to appreciate. When you're Asian, you're really seen as other. That image of like the average American, the sort of like ideal white picket fence, working hard, middle class, not too wealthy, anything that looks different from this sort of seems out of place to them. So I, I have to tell them that, you know, my life experiences are not all that different from, from others. But I also have a great pride in my cultural heritage. Who cares about the Asian? Because in the sen in Ohio, we have only 3.25 percent. For that reason, I, I see that uh, you know, the we need to be heard. There's some some story need to be told. Most people run around here saying that they are more patriotic than you, or wear the flags and all that. But then to me, patriotism is in the heart, not. Uh, outward display. Someone had asked me, it's like, when do you, when actually do you feel most Asian? And I can tell you when I'm eating, right? Um, when I'm in a restaurant, like that to me is like um, a really wonderful, safe place. That's my goal, my mission here with the restaurant is I could bridge that gap through food. It doesn't have to be just Asian people. It could be people from all walks of life to help them to have a have hope to have a quality of life to help them realize their dreams. You know, I always think about um, what is the contribution that we have to the world? What's our purpose here? And it doesn't matter whether it's like you're black or white or Asian or Hispanic. It, it, it doesn't matter from that standpoint. What does matter is that you're always keeping your eye on a prize. Especially the Asian American and Pacific Islander communities here, I feel um, you know, in my field, I want to be able to serve. There aren't enough voices in newsrooms standing up for minority communities, and I want to be that person in a place where we really lack that.